Only use this for single player games and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Hello and welcome, I would like to show you how to use Cheat Engine. For that I'm gonna start a game. This here is Artificial Extinction. I'm gonna continue my gameplay. I like it easy. And I actually had to use Cheat Engine for this game so I could continue. There is a level where you get bombed randomly and right at the end before entering my spaceship I got randomly hit by these bombs twice. And the decision for me was to either stop playing the game entirely because there is no way I would afford the frustration of playing that entire level again only to risk the same happening again or I could cheat so I could continue and uh, lose a few minutes instead of maybe half an hour. We can for example cheat our ammo 11, 10 if you look at the bottom left here, 9. We could fix that number for example so that it always stays at 10. Or we could go for resources so here I have metal 140 for example. Let's go for that. The first step in Cheat Engine is to hit this button, select a process to open, and this window will appear. By the way, in the game I'm gonna hit pause so enemies cannot approach for now. Just to check, the number is 140 that I want to change. In this little list I have to pick the game exe, the game process. I could switch to process and windows to make it easier. I'm gonna stay with applications and here I see Unreal Engine icon plus artificial extinction. I'm just gonna click it and press open. And here by default we're looking for 4 byte ints. Let's try it out. 140. First scan. We're gonna wait for the progress bar and next scan and next scan and next scan. Just hitting next scan a few times while the number is still the same can be helpful. Now I'm gonna unpause, pause again and hit next scan again a few times. You can see this number changed a little bit. It went a little bit down because some things in this level changed, for example position of an enemy that changed a little and if it happened to have 140 as a number then well that went away. Alright now let's build something in this game. Okay so the number went down to 110. 110. So now I'm gonna go to cheat engine and tap in 110 and now I'm gonna hit next scan. And there we go that's how quick it was. I can double click it and now I can just double click the value here and for example set it to 9999. And if we resume the game you can see we have it doesn't even fit the uh, little icon space there we have 9999 or 9999 resources of metal. That's five metal miners working now. That's the maximum we can use at a time on metal. We also have 50 energy, but in this game it's a bit hard to cheat that because these depend on the amount of uh, these energy miners that we have. But let's give it a try. 250 is the current number. So let's search for 250. New scan. We gotta go for new scan and then first scan. By the way, we can mark this one here with no description double clicking. Let's call this metal. And uh, yeah, let's go back to, whoops, let's go back to the game. Miner, and let's pause the game. We are at 300 energy now. So let's type in 300. Next scan. And another one. 350. Okay, so all these three values changed to 350. And we can try, we can try to change it. For example, to 999. Whoops, let's see. But as you can see, this changed again. It's now 400 because I built another miner doesn't work because it's constantly updated depending on the number of miners we have. What we could try is change these numbers 999 three times and then hit these over here. That should prevent them from ever changing. But I think in this game it's gonna cause crashes eventually. Well let's try to play this level and see if that happens but it's dangerous. It can happen that games will crash because of that. Okay so what do we have here? We have droids. We have to take down with target seeking missiles. Now these missiles are a bit expensive so uh, let's try the following. 
They we currently have eight. Let's try to find eight. New scan. Okay, we have eight now. Let me get rid of one missile. Okay, we are at seven. Let me search for seven now. Okay, so this is still 54 entries simply because the number is so small that random other things also you have that number. Now I'm at six. Still one, two, three, four, five numbers. Okay, let's build a, uh, buy a missile. And now we have seven here. Okay, so this is probably the missile. So I'm going to just set an X here, so it will never change. It will constantly be updated to stay at 7. Yep, it's still 7. And still 7. So this works for such objects, for example quite easy so far because we have been working with integer numbers but sometimes you have to work with floats maybe doubles different game engines prefer different types so let's try to manipulate something that has a float type i think my health for example might be such so i'm gonna try to take some damage first so because i'm not sure which type i have for health i'm gonna use first of all a new scan and i'm gonna search for all and type in 100 Right, now I have 96, so let's close this down. Ah, I forgot to search, didn't I? So let's search for 96 now. This is going to take a while because I picked all types. So it's important to pause the game so that nothing changes in the meantime. For example, if you have regenerative health. Okay, now let's take some more damage. In that case, let's use the heal function. Health 100%. Alright, 100. Alright, 100 it is. Still 35. Repairing sentries. Options. Let's see if this one can take us down a little. 90, 92. Okay. Let's search. Oh, and there we go. Apparently, no, this is in float. This is actually a float. It's rounded, but it's a float. So it was good that we used the all type. Alternatively, to save time, well, if we knew that it was a float, we could have searched for float. So let's set our health to 100. There we go. We now have 100 health in the game again. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, we actually want to set it to 100 and freeze it there. Okay. Another thing I want to do is have infinite shooting without having to reload. Wait a second. Yep. As you can see, my health remained 100, even though this guy was shooting me. Invincible. Twenty-five percent. You've taken a bit of damage, but you're okay. Oh, but if he does make uh, one hundred damage with one shot, then I am dead, most likely, depending on how the game is programmed. But if I get more damage than I can really take in one sitting, in one shot, then I will still die. Okay, now let's handle the the ammo for this gun, and we do know that this is an integer, most likely. So let's go for new scan seven and not search for all because that takes a lot more time. It's a four byte one, just like the missile ammo. First scan, Large shoot, pause, search for six, shoot, pause, search for five. All right, all right. Fight to them with your claim wars. What do we have four? We have four now, let's search for four. So these two values might be it. Maybe one is only for display, the other for the internal counter. Let us set this one to 8. Okay, so it was this one. Let's freeze it at 7. Or maybe have some fun and freeze it at 99. Yep, that works too. And that is how easy it can be to use cheat engine in games. Let me know if you have any issues in the comments. I hope this video helped. 
but if you still have troubles i'm most yeah i'm quite certain i might be able to help you if you provide some information about which game you're using so have fun using cheat engine to hopefully enhance your gameplay experience and hopefully not worsen it sometimes that happens oh and hit me with a subscribe if you haven't yet that would help this channel a lot anyways see you in the next hacking or modding tutorial until then ciao oh yeah so i kept all these values on for the next level and this is what happens because i didn't uncheck these and these values weren't what they used to be anymore so somehow they broke the game again be warned your game can crash if you lock values also sometimes when you change them you'll see that when you get there